Hey, Ronnie. Hey, Lou. Hey. You know, we kid around a lot on this show, and we, and we take some topics really lightly. And addiction is not one to be laughed about. But there is a story in the news right now comparing addiction to drugs the same as addiction to social media. Oh, I get it. Makes sense. Do you think you're addicted to social media? We're going to discuss this. We're going to give you some of the basis of this article, and we'll tell you about our addiction or lack thereof on the next Men Are So Smart. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Men Are So Smart. We're glad that you're here. I'm Luke Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ronnie. If you're new to the show, thanks for watching. We'd love to have you give this episode a like if you, in fact, indeed like the show. And subscribe to our channel, and when you do, click the bell, because that way you'll get notifications each time a show comes out. Uh, they come out on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday mm. at 9 o'clock Pacific and noon Eastern. Uh, social media addiction. Let's talk about it. All right. As a subject of conversation, it seems it's been beaten to death. Sure. That's why we're taking it on. <laughs> like we haven't already done this. It's right, up, yeah. it's right in our wheelhouse. Uh, hey, it seems to be. Uh, you know, I think my hair looks a lot like Conan tonight. <laughs> it remains unrecognized by the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders igniting much debate over whether it should or should not be included. Uh, well, addiction comes down to a dependence on a source of pleasure. Okay. So severe that you're uh, unable to cut it out of your life, even if you want to. Based on this, is there a parallel between excessive social media use and drug addiction? Psychologists have noted how likes, comments, or new followers could trigger the release of dopamine similar to opioids, and God knows the crisis that we have oh, going yeah. on right now. Yep. In other words, those notifications that light up your phone may be lighting up the reward center in the brain too. But at the same time, this is not necessarily abnormal. Uh, yeah. So drugs affect the same brain reward pathways that are fundamental to our functioning for example, the pathway that makes eating when we're hungry, okay. uh, getting warm when we're cold, makes those things feel good. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is according to a, a Stanford University professor. He noted that human beings are social animals, so we are meant to feel good about interacting with one another. Yeah. So the fact that something activates the same mm -hmm. pathway as cocaine doesn't mean it's addictive, just that it's rewarding. Yeah, concerns may be warranted when social media use led, leads to negative changes in behavior, mm -hmm. consistently disrupting unrelated activities, mm -hmm. or inducing compulsive urges. People are quite self-aware seeking the help of therapists and workshops when they notice that they're spending too much time in front of their screen. Just like cases of opioid abuse or gambling addiction, some individuals are simply more vulnerable to these effects than the rest of the population. So speaking of gambling, which my wife is a big fan of, mm -hmm. a new study from Michigan State University shed light on the impaired risky decision making, which is a trait linked to drug addiction as well as problematic social media use. Go on. Uh, in a gambling task, participants who exhibited poorer decision-making mm. were also the ones who had a stronger psychological dependence on Facebook. Mm. Uh, the researchers noted how abusers of opioid and cocaine also performed poorly on this test, showing the same deficiency in decision-making. Now, around one-third of humans on the planet, it's amazing, Yeah, are using social media. The other two thirds are yeah. lying. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> or they're in Africa where they don't have phones or, or electricity. Something. Yeah, and some of these people are displaying maladaptive, excessive use of these sites. Uh, our findings in this search at Michigan State say they will hopefully motivate the field to take social media over use seriously. Yeah, on the whole, comparing excessive social media use to drug use. 
does does seem to be an exaggeration for the most, but one should keep a check on their behavior. The tendency to use social media as a crutch and develop an unhealthy routine around it is not too far-fetched for some individuals. Ronnie, your wife loves to play the slot machines. Yes. And I come to you because I've, I've made it pretty clear that I am really not a gambler. Yeah. Um, the story was that I almost lost a precious guitar over a stupid bet, that several stupid bets that I had made. That's right. I remember those. So, I, you know, I, I derive no pleasure from gambling, so I can't relate. However, I understand the urges. Uh, I am addicted to cigarettes. Yep. So, I would say that I understand cravings, desires... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Withdrawal. Do you think that, and I don't mean to point out your wife specifically, but do you believe that she may have some of those tendencies? Well, the, the greatest thing is that I notice is when she's never missed work over having to, okay. you know, go gambling. Um, she'll go when... You know, like they offer some kind of a free prize or something if you go... Like a new car. Yeah. Like a new car! Uh, a new car or, you know, a drawing or they give away pots and pans and comforters mm -hmm. and all sorts of different things. She'll go up there and she'll get her prize and she'll put a little money in just because when you put money in, it shows up on your card and they can tell you've been there and that you've gambled some money. So, gotcha. in essence, they're not free prizes at all. She's paying for them. Yeah, you got to play. Right. But she's also, I don't know, there's kind of that that tipping point. I'm not sure if she's won more money than she's lost or vice versa. She's had So a you couple, don't keep track? We don't keep track. Okay. We turn all the losses in mm -hmm. for our taxes. Mm -hmm. But, uh, and actually, I'm not even sure that's going to be allowable this year. I was reading something about <clears> that. They've, they've reduced deductions of the new tax scheme, but mm -hmm. regardless... Uh, she's had some really big paydays, for no question. But uh, I think that it's more of a, hey, this is this is my favorite thing to do, you know, when I'm not doing anything else. Exactly. And if it's not hurting anyone, if it's not taking food from your table, right? Then there really isn't anything wrong with it. But now let's let's shift gears a little bit and get back to social media. Do you see any of the same tendencies with gambling with her that you see with social media use? You know, it is. It's very similar uh, because, well, for her, <clears throat> not as much. I mean, she'll get on, both of us will get on at night and we watch Jeopardy and Wheel of Fortune. And, right. you know, we, I play along vigorously for Jeopardy, but mm -hmm. Wheel of Fortune, not so much. And she's, she's much better Wheel of Fortune than I am. Gotcha. So we kind of, while Jeopardy's on, she's on Facebook. Oh, I see. And then you flip. And off. then, yeah. yeah. And then yeah, while gotcha. while Jeopardy's on, I'm on social media a little bit. Mm -hmm. But it's not like so. We went to a Kings game, a Sacramento Kings game here, not too long ago, and we had really great seats. And they were. I used to work for the Kings, and so I still have some friends there, and I had amazing seats. Thanks for the um, invite. Go ahead. <laughs> and as I look up and down the aisle of my very nice NBA seats, uh, about a third of the people uh, under the age of 30 were on their phones. The game is going Screens on. Screens lit up. Yes, the game is going on right in front of them, right. and their face is buried in their phone. $45 a ticket. Uh, or more, uh -huh. and up. Yeah, right. 45 is about the cheapest ticket you can get at uh, Doco. But uh, it, it's really, it's amazing. Um, I... I've never done that, and there are long stretches of time when I don't even look at my phone. Right. It just stays in my pocket for maybe six hours at a time. So it is it is different, and not to say that probably everybody has some type of an addiction to some degree. Um, you know, whether it's, uh, I mean, social media or food or... Uh, Alcohol, drugs. Yeah, I mm -hmm. mean... There, everybody has some type of an addiction, so it's just a matter of being able to control it and, you know, being able to work around it. Well, we'd like to know how you feel about this. 
Have you suffered from a previous addiction and know the telltale signs? And if so, are they similar indeed to that of social media and your attention to the screen? Ronnie and I were talking in pre-production and we were trying to break it down into what the categories might be. For instance, what about text messaging? Right. What about Messenger itself? Is that counted as Facebook time or social media? I believe it is. See, I, I look at more as just communication because, honestly, I'd rather get a text message than a phone call. Oh, me too. So me that's too. more communication to me. And, and, you know, if you want to email us, you certainly can do that too. That's another way we we love to communicate. Absolutely. Rather than this way. Right. Yes. Yeah. Mm. So, uh, again... Uh, I I may I went out to lunch with a buddy yesterday and we went to Harbor Freight mm -hmm. and we did a bunch of stuff I didn't touch my phone for hours and hours and hours mm -hmm. uh, so it, it is possible and I think like with any addiction a lot of it is just it takes willpower sometimes to overcome something um, you know what I hate though is when people say if I can do it you can do it well eh, do you really know me <laughs> yeah maybe yeah. maybe not all right, well, again, comments, yeah. we want them. We reply to them. What are you addicted to? We appreciate them. Yeah. Uh, you can do that below, or if you'd rather not go public, um, you can email us at our email addresses. Those are listed bef b below, and um, you, you, I'll have them. You know what? Here, we'll have them pop up right here. Okay? Oh, there they are. All right, once again, hope you enjoyed the show. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And we'd love to have you subscribe to our channel. We are so close, Ronnie, right now to 300 subscribers. Holy cow. We're like six away. Oh. Who is going to be? And I will know. I will know who that person is. And we will mention them oh. in our next show. How's little, that? A little shout out. Okay? Yeah. So uh, please uh, subscribe to our channel. Click the bell. Get notifications each time a new show comes out. Thank you to our sponsors, Trico Welding Supplies, and a uh, business called done right auto repair thank you very much gordon appreciate you watching the show nice i'm lou gallagher i'm corvette ronnie we'll see you on the next men are so smart bye-bye